Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In this series, in this video, you will get familiar with VS Code. You will learn how to open project or folder directly from terminal and how to quickly navigate between files. But before we do that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. VS Code is a new code editor from Microsoft. Actually, it's been around for a while, but it's getting very, very popular amongst the front-end developers. So if you are front-end developer working a lot with JavaScript, React, and some of the modern JavaScript frameworks, you definitely want to have a look at VS Code. And in this video series, we will have a look more closely at VS Code and how to modernize your front-end development workflow and how to leverage all the cool features of VS Code. The first thing you'll see when you download and install VS Code is the welcome screen, which lets you quickly start a new file, open a folder or clone a Git repository. So if you know the Git repo, you can simply paste the URL and that will clone it and open that folder inside of VS Code. The recent section lists five of your previously open projects or folders or files. The help section has a couple useful links. You can also toggle this page on and off by checking this show welcome page on startup. And on the right hand side, you have quick links to the most useful features and configuration of VS Code. To open a folder in VS Code, we can simply drag and drop it on the welcome screen. And that will simply open the project for us. It will remember also the opening state. So if I have a couple of these folders expanded, the next time I'll launch VS Code, it will remember the exact state and also the terminal. Okay, so let's say I open the app.js and have the terminal up. Now I close this project and launch VS Code again. We'll go to the recent project opened and it should remember the exact state. All files are open exactly the same way and the terminal is up as well. If you want to open folder straight from your terminal, you can also enable the shell command code by installing it. Install code command in a path that will enable you just type in code inside of your terminal and launching VS Code. Now, if I close the VS Code and open terminal in any folder, I can simply type code that will launch VS Code. And if I want to open a specific file from this folder, I simply type in code, space and uh, file name. This will open the folder in VS Code and also will open the file we specified in the edit mode. Now I will close the terminal and because this is a readme markdown file, we can also preview this markdown markup inside of VS Code directly. So open preview, we click on this open preview or we press command shift and V that will open the preview of this markdown file and we can also make the preview side by side by clicking the icon next to it, okay? We split the editor and now we will have readme on one side and the preview on the other side. While scrolling in the preview, we'll also scroll the markup to the right position in the left hand side, okay? So this is very handy. Both panes will be in sync in terms of interface, we have the file icon, search, git implementation, debugger and extensions. We'll cover all of these tabs in more detail a little bit later. In the bottom left, we have the git implementation as well. So this tells us that we're working from the master branch and there is nothing to commit, nothing to pull. On the bottom right, we have the smiley face to leave some feedback and in the top we see standard name of the file that it's currently open. Next to the file icons, we have the explorer. That is everything which is currently open, open in the left pane, open in the right pane. The file marked gray is the currently active window or active pane. And then we have a folder expanded with all our files 
open in the current project. Then we have the left pane content, right pane. This should all make sense and it's very familiar interface as from other code editors. Now let's cover some of the basics and most frequently used shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. The first keyboard shortcut that I use always is Command and B and that will show and hide the Explorer. Control and tilde will show and hide the terminal output or debug console. This is Control and tilde. Command, Shift and F jumps to the search. This is pretty standard in all other code editors. Command and P lets you quickly search through your folder and navigate to the file directly. So this searches your currently open folder and lets you quickly jump straight to that file. So this is very handy and this is my most favorite shortcut and feature. It's very fast regardless of how big the project is. Command and P lets you easily search to any file. The search is very smart. You can start by typing dot and file extension and it will jump to the related file. We can also jump directly to a line. So if we want to search in a long file, so I'll open my Webpack config here. And if we want to go to line 80, we can simply type in command P colon and then 80. Okay, 80. I didn't realize this is the last number, but as you could see, if I search, if I type in colon, it gives me what kind of range I could put in. So VS Code is smart enough to give me the range between 1 and 80 because this file has 80 lines. 40 would jump in in the middle of my file. And the last shortcut is F1. Function and F1 will bring this contextual menu and here are all the commands that you can use inside of VS Code and the related keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so this is F1. So if you're looking for anything specific, F1 and then start typing and you will get a list of the commands or features of VS Code related to your search term. There is so much more to VS Code that's why I've created this series and in the following videos we will dive in more deeper into the search, git, debugger and extensions and see how I can help you to speed up your front-end development workflow when you're starting with VS Code. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And that's it all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not to miss the next video where we will explore even more keyboard shortcuts that will boost your VS Code productivity. Until next time, happy coding, bye.